but there is no robotics in India. But the cutting edge robotics technology is just not there in India. But there are not enough robotics companies in India. And these are the kind of things that an aspiring roboticist who lives in India and who is really passionate about learning robotics and building a career in robotics would say when they compare the robotics scenario in India with countries such as the United States or other countries in, in Europe, in Europe, such as Germany, Netherlands, etc. So while a part of this might be true that the opportunities in India are not as much as in other developed countries, but there are plenty of robotics companies in India for you to not use this lack of uh, robotics infrastructure as an excuse to not start learning your robotics journey. And in this video, I want to give you a comprehensive list of 80 plus robotics companies in India. And while this list is specifically dedicated towards robotics space in India, the same applies to other developing countries in Africa or South America. There are still plenty of robotics companies that are there either in your country or within a couple of neighboring countries. So there are plenty of robotics companies and even if there are not enough robotics companies within your specific country, you could still build your own skills and then consider moving to another country. But again, now getting back to the top robotics companies in India, let's get started. So top robotics companies leading the charge in India. First of all, let's start with debunking the myth that there is no robotics in India. This is one of the most prevalent beliefs in India that India lacks, uh, lacks a significant presence in the robotics industry. And um, you could say that a, a part of it is true because uh, technologically we are not as advanced as the United States and it does make a, a certain sense but we're growing at a very fast pace and there are a lot of emerging robotic startups especially this entire startup scene in india is pretty good it is uh, growing at a really um, fast pace and there are plenty of robotics opportunities in india so the robotics uh, landscape in india if you look at uh, the recent uh, advances in uh, the development of a lot of different startups, which we would have a look at uh, soon, we would see that uh, uh, there are a lot of startups that are emerging, but at the same time, uh, the fact that we had the first Roscon in 2023 gave India a lot of exposure to cutting edge robotics and a lot of uh, external companies also want to develop their branch uh, in India. So this is definitely something that is growing and what does it mean for aspiring roboticists? It just means plenty of opportunities. Now, without any further ado, let's just get started with having a look at the top robotics company, the entire list of robotics companies which I've prepared for you. And before I do that, let's, uh, I want to give a short note that some of these companies may not directly have robotics products but they would be offering either solutions or services that assist other robotics companies, for instance. And hence, I've still included them in the list because there could be, these could serve as potential job opportunities or companies that might be of interest to you. So remember that this list of company is um, targeted towards an aspiring roboticist who lives in India. So the more comprehensive the list, the more opportunities you would have and the more you would be inspired towards building robotics projects and developing your skills. So let's have a look at some of these companies. I would not be going in too much detail and talk about all of these companies and what their products are, but uh, one particular company, Adverb Technologies, it's a pretty big company actually at this point and they work a lot in automation. They have their branches in India, they do warehouse automation, they do, uh, they have a lot of robotics products in supply chain for sorting, material movement, storage, essentially warehouse and logistics products. 
So this is one particular company and then there is Gen Robotics which I came across recently through LinkedIn and they say innovation beyond technology. It is a, a pretty cutting edge uh, robotics uh, company that and that use not just robotics but also artificial intelligence techniques and algorithms such as machine learning and computer vision. So they transform unsafe working environments through robotics and they are in four countries and they have these certain number of robots and workers. So this is a pretty interesting website that you can have a look at to understand their product better and I think that is all I would talk about. I, I would just cover a few companies here. Uh, Ati Motors is another one. And these are some of the robotics products that they have. So this mobile robots product, uh, tugging robot and then pivoting robots. Here. So these are some of the products here. And now let's look at, have a look at some different companies. So charge cart, is a company in India and essentially they develop cutting edge robotics, uh, robotic based charging station and it's a startup based in Hyderabad. So this is one particular company and then Grey Orange Robotics is a company that I've known and followed for several years and it has grown over the past several years and it was founded by um, Bits Pilani alumni, I think, and they have they are into warehouse automation uh, as well. And then there is also Sastra Robotics, which uh, which basically has certain robotics uh, solutions in. In the space of consumer electronics, uh, automotive, aviation, actually a lot of different uh, domains which you can also go ahead and look at and also feel free to look at the job portal or career section to see what kind of job opportunities they have. So if, for example, if I look here, they probably just have technical content creator and social media and writer. So this is, uh, they're probably not looking for engineering positions at, at this point. But this is another point that I would like to mention is that go ahead and explore the websites of all of these companies that I've mentioned there and look at the job opportunities. Now, some of these companies might not have the job opportunities that are relevant to you. That is robotic software engineering roles or computer vision, machine learning, AI based roles or general robotics, mechanical engineering role or generalist robotics roles that involve more interdisciplinary profile. So you can uh, skim through these websites and see what roles really suit you. And then there is, of course, Swayat Robots. Uh, the founder, Sanjeev Sharma, was also on uh, the Learn Robotics and AI podcast. And they are really working on cutting edge reinforcement learning and other machine learning approaches to make autonomous driving work in India. So this is a really ambitious company. And uh, yeah, if you get an opportunity to work at this company, it would really help you learn and develop your skills grow while also having a very significant impact on the autonomous driving domain in India. And this is probably one of the rare companies that are working on this cutting edge technology. And likewise, there are a lot of different companies. Now, I would not go into details. You can see that there are 83 companies that I've mentioned there. And I would also like to mention that the next ROSP one would be in Bangalore. And if you get an opportunity, definitely go ahead and visit it. The event would take place in December from 4th to 6th. In I and it, uh, it's organized in uh, and IIC Bangalore is I think one of the organizers, but there are multiple organizers I think including uh, Art Park, uh, Rig Bittle Labs, and Alex, uh, Acceleration Robotics. So I think the venue is just IIC Bangalore, but you can go ahead and look at all of the details, which I'll not talk about right now on um, the website here. So this is all linked in this blog article. To summarize, the robotics uh, industry in India was, is on an exciting trajectory and it is driven by 
a growing number of companies. So essentially, of course, um, the technology might not be at the same level as a lot of developed countries, but that is no excuse to start working on robotics. And essentially, you could be the one contributing to robotics development in India and really making that work because there are the developing and seeking funding for startups in India is also becoming easier and in easier. The startup infrastructure and ecosystem is becoming more and more um, inclusive. So now that you know that there are plenty of job opportunities in robotics companies within India, I would encourage you to start your robotics learning journey either through the free resources that I've provided on uh, my YouTube channel, Learn Robotics in AI, and I've given you plenty of uh, roadmaps, plenty of uh, resources and lists to of lists of resources to learn ROS, Gazebo, OpenCV, etc. Or you can go ahead and follow the course become a self-taught robotics software engineer for which no master's degree is required you can just um, look at all of the curriculum details that are on this challenge page and this is something that i have um, act actually created based on my own struggle trying to learn and develop the skills by myself even though i was enrolled in a master's program and then, then i have created a comprehensive course that covers all of the right resources and all of the right skill sets with a proper systematic well-defined plan that would help you become a self-taught robotics software engineer and lastly i would just like to mention that there is a current there's a discount on uh, ongoing discount uh, that would allow you to purchase the course at a 45 percent discount which i generally would not give and of course the course price has increased over the past uh, uh, several months as I've added more and more content in the course and try to make the course more comprehensive and inclusive. Uh, and the price, I would try to keep it at the same price, but uh, if I have to increase the value, naturally the price also grows. And um, if you purchase the course, um, right now you would be gaining access to all of the modules that would come in the future no extra payment or no extra charges would be required and that this is something that i have followed since the very beginning in fact the earliest adopters got to purchase the course at a really nominal price and they get to enjoy the benefits of all of the new content that i have been um, adding to the course recently so that is it and i hope this video helped you and spend some time scrolling through all of the websites that i have linked in this comprehensive list of top robotics companies in india and start learning robotics right now